What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Turford and today I have an awesome let's play for you. Uh, really the first one for my channel and I thought I'd kick it off with a very special and kind of a weird game. Uh, we're playing Emily's Away. Um, this is actually a free to play game on Steam. Um, also, if you're interested in uh, supporting the publisher of this game as well, the developer, um, I have a link below if you want to get it from his site directly. Um, you can toss him a couple bucks or 20 bucks or however much you want to uh, for this experience. But if you want to get it free on Steam and try it out, by all means, it's on there. Um, although, we're actually going to play through the whole thing on this video. Um, it's a very, very short game. It's a little text adventure about you aiming someone else, which is why you have the little aim icon here. So let's jump into chapter one, which takes place in 2002. And also the uh, desktop on this computer that you it's emulating is very, very much Windows XP from 2000. It's pretty awesome. So there's a lot of cool details here and let's find out. So we're going to 2002. This is senior year. Now uh, we're gonna do our screen name uh, I'm just gonna randomize it because it's more fun that way. Uh, apparently, we are Will Fred Zero. It's very exciting. Very exciting name. Um, do we want to do a random name or do we want to do my name? Well, we don't want to do Rachel. Eh, let's do Rachel. You know what? This will be fun. All right. So uh, there's a bunch of different uh, things from 2002. Uh, there's Blink 182, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Eminem. Um, Skater Boy, I'm assuming that's Avril Lavigne, uh, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and then Class of 2002 and a bunch of domain things. Uh, you know what? We're awesome. So we're going to pick Lord of the Rings because, you know, that's just how we roll. All right, so here's our friend list from AIM. Emery has signed in. Um, but before we start talking, we're going to do one of the cool things that everyone used to do on AIM, which is change our colors. So since we're playing Rachel... A girl. Let's see what kind of fancy colors we want to do. So um, we're gonna make it look really ugly. We're gonna well, I wouldn't say ugly, but we're gonna make it very girly. So I'm gonna do purple, and then we're gonna do ah oh, yellow. All right. So kind of kind of very tri You know, out of all the times I aimed girls in high school, this is usually very similar to the color palette I would receive when back. So let's do howdy. Now, um, one thing you should note is even though it looks like you're typing the responses, um, the game actually types the responses for you. So you really don't do anything. <laughs> Lol. What's up? Oh, you know, the ceiling. What are you up to? You basically type along with the game, but it actually types all the words for you. So um, you just sort of um, go along with the flow, I guess. Now. She's asking if we like Coldplay. The reason for that, if you look at her icon here, first of all, it's Coldplay. Um, but also, one of the cool things you can do, and I'll show you around here, is that if you, um, I think it's right click? No, or we had to minimize this. So if we go to the buddy list, um, we can look at each person's profile. So as you can see, Emery35 likes Coldplay. So we've got some Coldplay lyrics here. Um, and then some weird things at the end, why fear death? Just because you know the song will end is no reason not to listen xxx is that a qu quote from triple x is that a quote from something else i don't know because you know it is 2002 it could be anything uh we can see our friends as well so jewels we've got blink 182 quote as well live fast laugh often love hard pretty cool all right, uh, let's see. So Brad is one of our boys. Um, the dreams of wish I'm dying are the best I ever had. And then this is a system of the down quote. Eating seeds is a pastime activity. The toxicity of our city, of our city, of course, from toxicity. And of course, Travis DeMann wants ladies. So he puts this in red so you, so you notice it. Uh, he's got a bomb ass party this weekend, apparently. Uh, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Love your dad. Okay. <laughs> He's totally a skater dude. All right. So let's go back. So do I like Coldplay? Now, I personally am not a huge Coldplay person. But you know what? For the sake of this, and because she's got, she's all about Coldplay, we're going to say we like Coldplay. So yeah. Totally. We love Coldplay. Their last album was really good. 
<laughs> it's actually really awesome too because when uh when it does the typing it actually corrects itself just like you would if you remember that so emily will remember that i feel like bad things might happen hmm are we going to travis's party tonight hmm we could be like eh, we haven't decided travis is kind of a dick or depends on if you're going you know i'm gonna say this Ugh. I might, but Travis is such a dick. I'm being mean to poor Travis. Apparently his parties are always fun. The de the uh, door opening, of course, is the classic noise letting you know one of your friends is on or offline. So it's crazy that we're already having end of the year parties. <laughs> Alright, so we could say uh, time flew by this year. I can't wait for school to be over or Travis is still a shithead. I, I'm I'm not gonna rag on Travis too much, so I'm gonna say I can't wait for school to be over. <laughs> oh jeez, she stuck her tongue out at us. Oh jeez, Brad from math class is messaging her. Now, what does he do? We ask what she said, what he's saying, or do we tell him to ignore him, or that he's a dick too? You know. He, hey, he's a dick. Why not? Lol, you're so funny. Oh man, we're so old. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of excited for college, so I'm gonna say, ha, ah, yeah, I'm so excited for college. Did you pick a school year? Oh, she got accepted into a reach school. I don't know what a reach school is, but it's something. Um, now, we get to decide what school we're going to. Now, I myself work in TV, so I like art school way more than engineering or business school. So we're going to do an art school. We went to an art school. Rachel, Rachel's an art school girl. Let's, let's be real here. I don't know what I want to major in. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Hmm. I don't know. I'll try. I'm sure I'll be crazy busy once call up starting. But I'd like to keep in touch. Emily will remember that. Aww. And I like having you in my life too. You're one of my best friends. Of course, you're without the apostrophe. Get scared, Rachel. Come on. Oh, I'll always be Rachel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the party. You chose to attend the party. Ooh, who's this Julie person? Julie who? I'm intrigued. Oh, geez, apparently she knows I know her. All right, so we're moving on to chapter two, of course. The skateboarder is totally a classic uh, Windows XP logo. So now we're in college, freshman year of college. Now, uh, in case you guys didn't know, the, each chapter goes uh, to the next year. So um, basically it spans from the end of high school until the end of college. So let's see. So we've got The Matrix. we got Finding Nebo, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Kill Bill, Linkin Park, 50 Cent, Britney Spears, and who I think is Beyonce, possibly. Um, and then, of course, we got a bunch of dumb animals. So, <laughs> um, hmm. Let's do Kill Bill. Why not? All right, so we have... Jules is our friend. Now. We haven't checked out Jules' profile. Girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. Boys will laugh at girls when they're not funny. <laughs> Let's get drunk and make your girlfriend jealous. Great. 
Let's see what Travis is up to. Uh, Travis is apparently single, even though he's still a dick. Um, he's part of the surf club. Ooh. Uh, life's a wave. Catch it. Miss you, dad. I guess he really doesn't li miss his dad. Or I guess I should say he does miss his dad. All right, so what's Brad up to? This is, of course, Brad, who is texting her all the time. Um, come see us perform at the coffee hut. Oh, snap. Uh, he's apparently a guitarist. You know, ooh, guitarist. Um, let's see. Excite Mike. What's Mike up to? Of course he <laughs> spelled out, hey, yeah, because why not, right? That, that song's awful, though. Let, let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. That, game's, that song's really bad. Uh, it was definitely a song of the time, though. Like, definitely, like, you know who was saying, hey, yeah? Everyone. Everyone was saying, hey, yeah, back then. Um, let's see. And, ooh, Emma. Big black boots. Long All right, so we got Jet. Don't you want to be my girl? And then, don't live in the past or you'll miss the present. And then, we got Emery. What is she saying now? So, ooh, she's got her Snow Patrol on. Um, and then you make me laugh, even though you want to make me smile. Okay. All right, let's go back to chat. So, Amory said hi to us this time. So, do I'm going to say my usual thing. Hey, how's the chick? I feel like I'm some sort of taxi or something. Uh, it's chicken, I guess. Oh, she's just doing some homework. All right. So, now, me being a, a gamer, I have to say video games. So that's what we're doing. We're just playing this video game. What music are you listening to? Oh, a Snow Patrol. All right. So we know she likes Snow Patrol. But, you know, I'm not going to lie about it because I don't know enough about Snow Patrol. So I'm going to be like, no, I don't think I know it. Alright, so how do we like art school? Now, art school, in case you guys haven't gone to an art school before, it's pretty laid back. So we're gonna say it's fun. Because doing art's fun, right? You're not you're not doing it because you're not at art school because you're not having fun. So apparently we got some awesome people on our floor. That's always good if you're going away from college kids. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, so what are we doing tonight? Are we going to a house party? Are we hanging out with friends? Or are we doing a group project? Um, you know what? We are in art school. We don't do... Well, yeah, we do group projects. So we're going to say, yeah, I have to go to the library in a few. Massive group project due tonight. I chose to work on a group project. <laughs> Of course, we put it off to the last minute. Um, we we put it off. I mean, come on, everyone does that, right? Am I right? At least when we were in high school. Anyways. Later in life, you learn not to do that, but when you're in high school, of course, or college, you of course put that off. Oh, Brad has band practice. And of course, we know Brad because he's actually on our friends list, and he's a guitarist. So... Do I know Brad? Do I know Brad? Why am I asking this? He's on our friends list. Oh, okay. Brad's her boyfriend. Apparently they've been dating for a couple months now. I say I'm happy for you. How did you two get together anyways? Or just, how'd you get together? First, I didn't know what to expect. But over the summer, he changed and matured a lot. Of course he did. I didn't really know anyone else at the time, so we just started hanging out. And we kind of just hit it off. Now, here's the thing. Do we, we want to be a dick here? Because it's clear that Rachel's a bit jealous that Emery is with Brad. So, um, I don't know if we want to be a dick about it, though. So, we'll just ask... What's he like? Because, you know, I don't want to cry and be like, hey, do you love the guy? Because I feel like that's going to turn into an argument, and then same with if he's a best friend. Apparently he's smart and funny, and he understands me. 
but sometimes he can be a real jerk. Uh, I'll just say so maybe she's just misinterpreting things. Okay, so they just sound like a normal couple. It doesn't sound like he's being a jerk. So, the other two options are definitely jealous, uh, jealous friend zone friend syndrome. You because if you say you deserve better or sounds like a bad relationship, that's basically telling her that you like her and you're just jealous. So we're gonna say this that's normal because I mean that is sort of a normal relationships. I mean people fight. It doesn't sound like he's doing anything bad. Just as long as she's okay. Apparently, they just get really loud when they argue. That's all. Now, once again, the these all op all three of these options really making it sound like, hey, Emily, I like you, and you really shouldn't be with him. But so, I'm not gonna say he sounds like an asshole because again, that sort of goes against what I just said. Um, I'll just say I really care. About Or not. <laughs> just so I'm not saying me. I'm saying people care about you. Emily will remember that. Yeah, I'm not gonna pressure to break up with the guy, and I'm not gonna say that. So I'm sorry. I want you to be. Happy. And we chose to stop talking about it. Well, at least she's happy. And that's good. Yes, I should go. I should go to the study group. See ya. We're off to the study. Emery is away. All right, so chapter three, moving to sophomore year of college. Pretty swanky. All right, so we got The Incredibles. Uh, we've got Usher. We got maybe Dr. Dre? Maybe? I don't know what that is, by the way, kids. I'm sorry. You can yell at me in the comments if you want. Uh, we got uh, Black Eyed Peas, uh, uh, Green Day, American Idiot, Saw, Mean Girls, and then... I don't know what that is either. I don't know what that is. So, we're gonna go with... We're gonna go with Green Day. I like Green Day. So... Let's see what everyone's up to. Of course, she's got Muse up there in the corner, which of course I really like because Muse is really awesome. So let's go. On, let's see what's going on with our buddies. So first of all, Emery of course has a Muse quote in because why not? Um, and then I'm trying. It sounds like she's really bummed out. Uh, let's get. Uh, so we got Black Eyed Peas from Mike. Uh, Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all the small stuff. Alright, so we got Brad. <laughs> Mistakes and regret. Single and guitarist. Oh, so it looks like they broke up. So I didn't even have to tell them to break up. They just did that. Apparently they want a drummer wanted. A drummer they uh, are going to have auditions in his dorm. Um, and then, of course, he's got Green Day Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Uh, let's see what Emma's up to. So she's got now she's got Snow Patrol. And then figuring it out one day at a time. It's all with Trevor. Travis the man. He's still doing surfing. He's trying to get people to join the surf club. Uh, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. And then, of course, he still misses his dad. Poor guy. And then Jules. What Jules is up to. Alright, so simple plan. Fucking simple plan. They're the worst. <laughs> and then she loves Alex now and forever, so that, I'm assuming that's her boyfriend. Ooh. Who is Vault Dweller? Oh, we can't click on any of these guys. Well, we try. All right, let's talk to Emma Ree. So, continuing our theme of really weird hellos, we're gonna say, yo, what up? It seems like we're changing to like a different uh, uh, different nationality every year. It's oh, geez, we haven't talked in a while. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, that's good. You know, we're at art school, we're having a good time. Uh, it's fun. It's not hard. How's yours? Hmm. 
So what are we doing this weekend? Are we going to a show, a warehouse party, or are we hanging out? You know, I'm going to a show. I like Green Day and Muse, so we're going to go to a show. Going to a show with my friend Emma. Ooh, the plot thickens. Ooh, all right, so here's what we can do. We can either say that we can basically put it out there that Emma's our friend, Emma's just a girl that we know, or that she's a girl I like. I'm gonna say I like her. Let's be open and honest about it. We're going with her because we know. So, we could have met in class at a party or Mike introduced us. Uh, I'm gonna say we just met in our class because, you know, why not? Our classes are cool. She's an art student just like me. <laughs> Sounds so cheesy. <laughs> Alright, so we can say she's kind, funny, or hot. <sighs> I can't help myself. Honestly, she's really hot. Emily will remember that. So, what are you up to tonight, Emily? Oh, her and Brad were supposed to go to the party tonight, but they broke up. Oh, they just broke up last week. We knew they broke up because, again, we were looking at the, uh, the instant messaging. Unless, of course, he was single, but somehow still together with her. Doesn't make any sense. So, we want to say, I'm so sorry, because we're not a dick. We want to see how she is. Aww. Well, you know, I'm here for you, Emily. Of course, that totally is saying, hey, by the way, you're awesome too. Aww. Uh, so, do we want to change the subject or do we want to ask about it? I think, I feel like Emily approached us because she wants to talk about this. So we'll say, why did you break up? And of course, we chose to talk about the breakup. Oh, geez. So one summer he, he totally matured and the other summer they grew apart. Man, Emily can't catch a break. I don't want her to cry. Of course, again, it seems like Rachel ha still has a thing for Emily, despite the fact that I clearly like another girl. You're not a mess, man. You're just sad, and that's totally it. Emily will remember that. Well, of course. We're totally cool if she wants to vent. It's okay. Poor girl. Uh oh. Is this her gonna? Is she gonna ask us if we uh, if we like her? No. Promise. Of course, when you get to these types of points, when you're talking to people over aim, you're just like, oh, this is this is pretty cool. I wonder what she's gonna say. Oh, I could never hate you. Alright, so at Travis's party, we went in high school, remember. Apparently we went for a walk. And we stopped at the playground for a bit. Aw, oh, did we fool around? Now, why didn't we kiss her? Now, uh, they're good friends. I say we didn't want to speak this. She's going to remember that. Uh, 
that's not that stupid. I have wondered too. <laughs> this sounds like a really, really bad idea. She just got off a breakup and now she wants to come over. Now, when I say bad idea, I mean, man, she wants to hook up. But, at the same time, I don't know if that's such a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Because she's definitely not herself at this point. Hmm. She might get mad at me, but, you know... I chose to say no. Oh, she's gonna get mad at me, I think. Jeez, she's mad at me. All right, so let's see what happened. So, chapter four. We're now in junior year of college, 2005. So now we've moved on. We got some new icons. So we got Wedding Crashers, V for Vendetta, uh, Batman, Sin City, Mariah Carey, uh, The Gorillas, System of a Down, and of course, and of course, because you know I can't speak, Coldplay. And we of course we got another little animal set. So. Uh, we are going to do, we're, we're going to do System of Down, because you know what, we're emo kids. We got the pink, apparently she likes plans, let's, let's read what everyone's doing. So apparently Brad is still single, and a guitarist, and a bassist, and a drummer. Apparently he's just really, really emo. And then she, she likes Death Cab for Cutie. Uh, she doesn't want anyone's help. It's not good. Uh, Mike is part of the Entrepreneurs Club. It sounds like he's got some stuff going on. And of course, Travis, he still misses his dad. Um, by the sounds of it, it just, this all sounds like it's stuff about his dad. Julie is now with a new guy named Steve, by the sound of it. Even though... She did the same thing for the last guy. And of course she got Fall Out Boy. And then, what's Emma say? So, she's got Coldplay again. People don't, people change, memories don't. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, yo, yo. Of course, once again, I can't just say hello. I mean, if you've ever talked to me in real life and I come and say hello to you, it's never just hello, by the way. It's always something weird like that. And I'll just say, oh, it's okay. And we'll just ask if everything is okay. Uh huh. Sure, we'll talk about things. She's going to get mad because I didn't let her come over. Aww. So, of course... As I just mentioned, she's just gone through a breakup, so... I mean, it wasn't just because I wanted to be friends or I was worried something would happen. It was just, she had been through a breakup and I didn't want to... things. You can come visit now. Oh, 
she's mad at me. Different than what? Or different ran what? Now, do we want to keep in touch? Are we still friends, or will we ever be the same? I'll be. I'll just say, uh, are we still friends? We can talk anytime. Just so she knows, we can talk anytime. Of course, we're in art school, so for the most part, school is always good. I mean, one thing you uh, you may not know if you go to like an art school or a school for TV or something, it's a lot of hard work, but it's actually a lot of fun. You have a lot of fun all the time. It's especially doing stuff creative is a lot of fun. So we're gonna say it's good. College is flying. See what I did with my hand there? Flying by. Yeah, I know I'm a loser. Shut up. <laughs> ah, he's okay. He's been more serious about school and stuff lately, though. Because he, in case you guys missed it just a second ago, he is part of the Entrepreneurs Club. So he's becoming a business dude. I feel like that's a shot at me. Oh, we talk all the time. Oh, it wouldn't let me say that. I'd like more, but... Do what? <laughs> Everything's so complicated with Emily. <laughs> Yeah, of course, see ya. Alright, so we're going to chapter 5. This is the final chapter. And let's see what happens here. Now we're in senior year of college. We're going to graduate soon. So, of course, the icons we got this time, we've got uh, 300. We got Borat. We got Cars. Uh, High School Musical. Um, and then that's Studium Arcadia from Red Hot Chili Peppers. I don't know what that is with the rainbow colors in case you can't see the outline here. Uh, I think that's JT and then I don't know what the bottom one, that looks like a tree and some man standing there. Uh, we're going to go with Red Hot Chili Peppers because why not. Now this is the first time since the very first chapter that we've approached Emily and she hasn't approached us. so. Let's go to our buddy list and see what everyone's doing. So it's hard to argue when it's not making sense, but yeah. So more lyrics. The past is just that. She's going to walk from this dark room one last time. So once again, Brad is a guitarist looking for a band again. Um, so he's got Taking Back Sunday. Uh, Emma's got... Emma's now listening to Muse. So... Emma just seems like she's behind on her music. She needs to, you know, catch up to everyone else. Uh, life's too short to wait. So Mike is an innovator and an entrepreneur. So he's a fancy business person. So it's not about ideas. It's about making ideas happen. Words to live by. Let's see what Travis is up to. Um, so he's still really sad about his dad. Again, more stuff about his dad. And of course, Jules. She's got since it's fail, and then she really needs to take time to find herself because this is the first time she hasn't had a guy in here. So something's going on. She's between between guys. All right, so let's say howdy, because once again, I can't just say howdy. <clears throat> How are you, Emily? Uh, I'm good. Things are good. 
So how's school? How have you been? Or how are things going? So we'll say, how are things going? Everything's been really good. So what are you up to tonight? What's up new in your life? Or what's? Let's see if she wants to hang out this weekend. So do you have any plans this weekend? Uh-oh. Oh, they got back together. So I say that's great. So I just say, well, she told me she was tired of waiting for me. Man, why couldn't I woman up and, you know, have Rachel? Right? I'm kind of sad. Ah, the ship has sailed. Kind of sad. You know, Emma's really awesome. Can you believe we're almost adults? Although, technically, when you start college, you're usually an adult by then. So. High school was so long ago, man. Once again, I'm all about apologizing, apparently. So you got any big projects left? There's all bullshit answers, by the way. Or bullshit questions, sorry. So are you gonna move back home? So can we talk about things? Or apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> do anything fun late recently? Man, Rachel is such a chicken. Did I see you this summer? Oh, are you doing homework? Alright, so we've got... So how's school? Do you miss things or goodbye? You know, I keep trying to pressure Rachel into saying stuff, but of course it doesn't look like it. How are classes? Do you miss me? Nope. Find any good music lately? <laughs> Come on, Rachel. Man up. Or woman up. So, now we've got two goodbyes. And then we've got... Will we ever... Nope. Watch any good movies lately? Come on, man. I don't want it to end like this. How's the weather been? Alright, so it looks like we've got goodbye, goodbye, or goodbye. So I guess I guess we're gonna say the third goodbye. And now I'm away, as opposed to Emma. Alright, and there we go, so that's the game. <laughs> that's the full playthrough of Emily is Away. So what do you guys think about this game? It's very, very different from a lot of other games. That's why I wanted to show it to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford. That's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. Uh, you can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ryan Turford. Uh, do you like gaming podcasts? Uh, you can always check out uh, the gaming podcast that I co-host called The Game Moose Podcast. And all the links for that are in the... the description below we're on itunes and we're on youtube soundcloud and facebook uh so again uh this has been another let's play with me so until next time guys keep it locked